Hello everyone! Hi! Welcome to Moonlight Ponderings, I'm Ronnie. And Severine. Today we're talking about spell casting, or spell writing rather, and altering spells. <laughs> well, I've written a few. Um, mostly though, I reference stuff. I kind of reference what other people do. Um, but when I write some, it's usually, like, because I need it to kind of fit my personal thing that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's how it works for you or not, but... <laughs> I just write what feels right. Some people think their spells have to rhyme, and if they feel that way, they feel that way. I don't necessarily think my spell should have to rhyme. It should just have meaning to it. I should feel like the power of the words are in there. I think if your rhyme is taking away from the actual spell content itself. Like it felt cheesy yeah. at that point, yeah. Yeah. So, I think it just depends. I mean, hi! I do, and <laughs> um, I know some people feel like you shouldn't alter what spells. I know there are people they believe that there are spells that are ancient and written down and those are the spells you use. You don't create spells. And I would have to strongly disagree with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, a line of thinking like that, at that point you might as well just think that, like, we shouldn't even be witches because we're not old, ancient enough to actually account with the spell. I don't know. I just think you can get too in your head about stuff sometimes. Well, I know people, I think it's really cool, and I actually want to try doing it, is they'll find an older language to write their spell in. Because mm -hmm. they feel like an ancient language is more connection to the spirits and stuff. Yeah, and I think that's really cool too. I mean, I think that if you're connected with any language, because uh, I have a friend and we did a spell together and she wrote it in Japanese. And that was just what felt natural for her. She has a very strong connection to the language. And I mean, you know, I think it's just about what you feel personally. And as far as modifying a spell goes, I think it depends like if you're modifying it and it's kind of losing the meaning then just write a new spell yeah like, 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 like i i've heard of people who use other people's spells and there's people that feel really weird about that it's kind of like a when you post an artist's work and you don't give them credit it's like people get kind of about that and to me, I, I mean, I don't really worry so much about it as an artist myself because, you know, it's just more publicity. But yeah. for other people, and I'm not sitting here telling you you shouldn't feel the way that you feel because if you personally don't want people using your stuff, then people should respect that. And if, I think if you're going to modify someone's spell and you don't know them or you can... I mean, because sometimes you can't. I mean, but if you can, then you should contact the person and be like, is this okay? And can I use it? Can I modify it? Or well, I feel like if they're put online, then it's like public domain almost. Like Yeah, I mean, if I think that I would be more concerned if you were taking it from like a literal grimoire or... Like someone you knew. Yeah. And they had wrote a spell down there. And I think it's, a, it's a read the room thing too, because some people say in in like their when they write the spell out, they're like you know whatever speaks to you, and I feel like if it says whatever speaks to you, then you kind of have leeway to modify it how you want anyway. <laughs> it's when they say do this specific thing, yeah. that it gets kind of like okay. Side note: Yes, I'm in PJs and she is fully dressed. <laughs> It's cold, and she just got home. I've been home, so. <laughs> yeah, don't take it as anything. I just was like, I went out to like a thing, because it's like, you know, Christmas time. So. <laughs> but that being said, back to the um, spell casting. 
I feel like for me, all spells you should make them feel personal and your own, because then they would work better. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of agree, and I think there's respectful, but there's also your personal needs. I mean, like you can't, it like what is I. With my idea in mind, like, you can't know that whoever is going to actually be available for you to contact. And in which case, like, you can't just sit there and wait. So, if you've done everything you can do, you've done everything you can do to, to do what you can about that. But, you know, I think for the most part, it's pretty... For me, I probably wouldn't stress it too much. I know some people are very particular about, like I said, you know, it's like an artist thing, but... If you have a problem with it, I feel like you should explicitly state that you have a problem with it. <laughs> but, I mean, to each his own. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's a little... <laughs> just, it's the end it's of the been, day. <laughs> it's been a really long, long couple of weeks for both of us. Ronnie's had one day off. <laughs> yeah. And it I... It wasn't today. <laughs> oh. And I have been really, really busy with my job. But and yeah, hopefully things will get better. Um, I think too, it's just the season. You know, things are just kind of busy around this time of year anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't know if the video will be up in time for you. We'll try, but um, there's going to be a baking thing for you. We were filmed that, didn't we? Yeah, I've got to literally just put it together and put it okay. up. So it's yeah. not. So hopefully be. that'll be ready for you guys for you. I'm really be. excited about that. It will be. Um, <laughs> it will be. It'll probably predate this one. So <laughs> you'll be like. Shout out to our girl Christine. She got me a motor and pestle for cooking purposes. Yay! Really excited about that. Uh, yeah, we've got to find a thing to use it for. Yeah. Well, well, we'll do a Witch in Kitchen episode and definitely find a use for it. <laughs> but I can't wait. I've got a video series I'm working on, too. It's just not come out yet. I haven't filmed anything for it. I will be, so don't stress. You know, it's it'll be there. It's just been... I haven't had time hardly to do anything. <laughs> We've been so busy. It's been a very crazy time. Yeah. But anyway, we're really excited. We've, we've like talked about a bunch of things we want to do <laughs> and uh well, I guess that covers it for right now this is a short video <laughs> it is kind of I mean it's kind of hard to find find some topics right now oh well, while I've got you guys on here um our friend Christine from mystic mystical tales uh, and I are working on a magazine project together, and um, it will be coming out January 1st, 2019. It's called Witchitude. It's going to be an internet magazine. Um, it's going to cover topics that we've talked about on here, topics that she's talked about on her blog. And it's completely free. Yeah, it will be completely free. And once that's ready and set up, we will be leaving links. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, and I, I've already made a post on our Facebook page, so if you're interested, you can check it out there. Um, and it's called what again? Witchy Tude. Witchy Tude. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and hopefully here soon, in, starting January, I will be actually doing tarot reads for people. Ooh. So, if that's something you would like to know, leave us a comment and we will get in touch with you. And there will be a small fee starting out, but until I get some revenue, I can make all that money. I'm kidding. But... <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I really would like to start doing this. I feel very connected to that, and that's something fun to do. <laughs> and I really hope you guys will enjoy it. Yeah, we're really excited about a lot of stuff we've got coming up. I know that like it probably just seems like we keep saying it. We just... We just literally have been trying to find time to do everything, and time is coming up soon, so don't don't worry. Things are coming. A lot of fun projects. We're really excited about. So, 
you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button <laughs> and give us a sub subscribe to us, hit that notification bell. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you guys next time. Bye. Stay magical. Always.